All right, what we're looking at is the dissection of a bony fish, and we're looking at a surf perch, and that's what you see here. This is also a different type of perch you can see. Uh, we're going to go through some of the external anatomy first, and if we look at this particular organism, we can note some of the fins. The first part here on the most anterior region is the pectoral fin, and located just eventually to that is the pelvic fin. Back here we have the anal fin, and then we also have the caudal fin, which is on the back. And this is considered homocircle because the top and bottom are the same lengths. On the top of the fish, we have our dorsal, so our spiny, and our soft rays. And there's two of them. You can see them located here. Uh, these particular organisms have a lateral line system. And that's noted, uh, this particular line that runs down the body right here. They have their maxilla and then their dentary, which is gonna be this bottom bone that makes this up, right here. This right here is the operculum bone, this big one, and it actually covers the gills, and so you can see that. Operculum actually means door for these organisms, just in general. All right, so what we're gonna look at now is we're gonna look at some internal structures, and as we open it up, um, the first thing we could note is this large structure right here, and this tells us what the gender of this particular fish is. Looking at a fish on the external side, this is the urogenital um, opening or pore, and we can't tell if it's a male or female, but when we open it up, we can see inside that these actually comprise the testes. In comparison to opening up and finding this right here, which is the egg sac. And if you open up the egg sac and cut it in half, you can actually see all the individual eggs that would be laid. All right, uh, diving in further, if we follow the urogenital pore up, the uh, release of the gametes is gonna happen in that area, but also the waste. And so this particular area right here is the testy, or I'm sorry, the intestines. And you can see some of this orange looking stuff. Um, those are just fat bodies that are sitting there. Uh, if you follow it backwards as opposed to going forward from the mouth, we actually run into, of course, the stomach. And the stomach is this organ right here. And it has uh, these little extensions or finger-like projections, which are known as pyloric cica. Just to kind of give you uh, a variation of what these might look like, if we look at it in this organism, this would be the stomach right here, and these would be the pyloric cica. All right, moving some things out of the way. You have this sac-like structure, and you can see that some of it's actually broken apart, and this is the swim or gas bladder, and this allows for neutral buoyancy in the fish. If we look at the swim or gas bladder here, you can see it's a bigger pocket, maybe easier to identify. Uh, underneath, or just dorsally to the swim bladder, are the kidneys, which is the black structure that you can see here. And then, of course, the vertebral column. So if you hear that little click, 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 um, that's actually running down the vertebral column. Uh, and, of course, the vertebral column is made up of bone because these are osteoichthyes organisms, or um, made up of bone, osteon. All right, uh, looking up here for respiration, these are the gill filaments, and then just at the bottom, you can hear that scratching, those are the gill rakers. The filaments uh, allow for oxygen to be absorbed into the body and carbon dioxide to be released. Going along with the circulatory system, we can locate the heart, and the heart is this structure right here. So there are different parts of the heart that you have to know. You need to know the atrium, which is on top, which leads into the ventricle, which then leads into the bulbous arteriosus, and then just anterior to that is going to be the ventral aorta. This structure right here that kind of covers the stomach is known as the liver. We can note looking on top, and this is a great dissection where they've opened up the um, brain, and or opened up the cavity in which the brain sits in, and you can see the different parts of the brain right here. And then of course you have the eye, and inside, is the lens, and you can kind of see that cream looking thing, and as I move it, it moves as well. Uh, that's the lens inside of the eye. Uh, we went ahead and did a cross section of the tail, and this is the dorsal region, and this is the ventral region of the tail, and on the top is going to be the spinal cord. This would be the uh, vertebral column, and then below that right here is going to be the dorsal aorta. The esophagus is actually 
right in here. So as we open up the mouth or the uh, the probe is actually in the pharynx, esophagus, and gullet. Well, the gullet is a common term used to describe this area, which is also known as the pharynx. And the esophagus continues to lead down into, of course, the stomach. So as the probe is um, prodding into the stomach area, you can kind of see as I'm moving the probe, the stomach also moves as well. All right, we also need to locate the spleen. And the spleen is gonna be a darker structure. It's easier to see right here. That's the spleen. Uh, the intestines aren't always black, but since these are filled, this is why it looks that color. Otherwise, you're gonna see them in a creamy color, um, more like what you see here. In these particular organisms, just like the other fish we've seen, they have the myotomes and the myoseptums. So the myotomes are actually going to be the um, larger muscle, and the myoseptums, again, are the divisions between each one of those. Also, we have different types of muscle based upon the location on the body. Up at the top, we have epaxial, and down below, we have um, hypaxial muscles. All right, and that concludes our fish uh, dissection. Just to kind of look at things over here, uh, they're obviously different species, but again, you can see the liver, you can see the gills, uh, the heart is also located down here. It's a darker color. Uh, so you have the atrium and the ventricle, and then if you go forward, you have the bulbous arteriosus into the ventral aorta that you cannot see at this particular moment. Uh, you have the J-shaped stomach with the pyloric cica into the, of course, intestines, which you can note right here. And they're just a whole bunch of connective tissue keeping them together. And you also have um, the different muscles uh, that are noted. So the hypaxial up top, I'm sorry, epaxial up top, hypaxial on the bottom. And then here's the lateral line system. That's it.